We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that thanks to conservation efforts, reef manta rays are thriving off the Raja Ampat archipelago in Indonesia. Diamond discs cut the waves, spiralled fins splitting surf with graceful size and measured ease, submerged, shifted, subdued. Tracing histories with photographs, each exposure a pinpoint. Patterns of life against the safe and unmolested seas. This poem is inspired by recent research published in the Frontiers in Marine Science, which has found that despite the global decline in manta rays because of overfishing over the past 50 years, reef manta rays in Indonesia have been recovering and thriving, mostly due to long-term conservation and management measures in the region. Reef manta rays are one of the largest ray species with a wingspan of up to 5 metres. They are regularly seen on coastal and oceanic reefs, often pausing at cleaning stations or feeding in large aggregations. Their size and beauty make them a strong draw for tourists, but they face increasing exploitation from trades in their gill rakers, and the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List lists reef manta rays as a vulnerable species, with declining populations throughout their range in the Indo-Pacific. Today it is likely that there are less than 20,000 of these creatures in the wild, with the Maldives and Indonesia hosting the largest number. One of the ways in which these rays can potentially be conserved is using well-enforced marine protected areas, or MPAs, a body of water with restricted human activity intended to protect a natural or cultural resource. In this new study, researchers made observations of reef manta rays off the coast of Raja Ampat, an archipelago located in Indonesia's West Papau province. By focusing on two of Raja Ampat's largest MPAs, Dampier Strait and Southeast Mazul, the researchers used sightings of rays, each individually identified by photograph, to assess population dynamics from 2009 to 2019. In Dampier Strait, the estimated population increased from 226 to 317 individuals during this time, while Southeast Mazul's population swelled from 210 to 511. While conservation measures substantially reduced fishing pressures, another reason for the population's thriving was thought to be the El Nino Southern Oscillation Climate Cycle, which boosted plankton numbers and provided more opportunities for mating. This research therefore highlights the importance of long-term conservation and management measures, such as well-enforced MPAs, for helping to protect and nurture vulnerable marine species. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Diamond discs cut the waves, spiralled fins splitting surf with graceful size and measured ease, submerged, shifted, subdued, tracing histories with photographs, each exposure a pinpoint, patterns of life against the safe and unmolested seas. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Night Dive by Peggy Schumacher. Peggy Schumacher is an American poet who was born in La Mesa, California, growing up in Tucson, Arizona. She earned a BA in English and an MFA in creative writing from the University of Arizona. Schumacher is the author of eight books of poetry and her poems have been published in Russia, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, England and throughout the United States. 
As well as in the National Endowment for the Arts Fellowship in Poetry, she has served as poet in residence at the Stadler Centre for Poetry at Bucknell and as the president of the Board of Directors of AWP. Professor Emirata from University of Alaska Fairbanks, Schumacher also edits the Alaska Literary Series at University of Alaska Press and is the founding editor of Boreal Books. Night Dive by Peggy Schumacher Plankton rise towards the full moon, spread thin on Wakaya's surface. Manta rays, great curls of jaw, scoop backward somersaults of ocean, in through painted caves of their mouths, out through sliced gills, red sea fans pulse. The leopard shark lounges on a smooth ramp of sand, skin jewelled with small hangers on. Pyramid fish point the way to the surface. Ninety feet down, blue ribbon eels cough, their mouths neon cautions. Ghost pipe fish curl in the dive master's palm. Soft corals unfurl rainbow polyps, thousands of mouths held open to night. Currents communion, giant clams slam shut wavy jaws, send shivers of water. Christmas tree worms snap back, flat spirals tight. Living petroglyphs against the night. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.